Well, today I'm making one of my favorite things, arancini, which is rice ball. Um, wait, wait till you see. Coming right back. The Coffee with Bips Show. America's favorite foodie. Not at all. Welcome, welcome to the Coffee with Bips Show. Okay, oh, to throw a wrench into everything, I have to let you know I'm making these vegan. So the taste isn't going to be any different. It's just a matter of what products um, we use. So there's going to be uh, fresh eggs, which I know some of you that aren't vegan might, you know, think that's not very good, but it is good. It's all plant-based. And then uh, vegan Parmesan, and then uh, vegan regatta, which is a cheese. Okay, and then we have uh, vegan beef crumbles to make a bolognese sauce. Um, some peas in there, so we know those are definitely vegan, right? Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Lambrusco? Well, that's, I think that's kind of vegan, right? That's vegan. Oh, we won't have that now because I think it's like um, 11.30 in the morning, but I, I could, I could. 11.30 is okay. Here we got my big bowl of rice. Made the rice ahead of time. It's always better the next day because it's not so sticky and starchy. Um, it's a lot easier to work with and form the uh, rice ball itself. Okay, so the rice that I'm using is Amborio, which is Sicilian rice. I'll get a little closer there. And at 16 ounces, I use two of these. Now, you don't have to use Sicilian rice. You can use regular rice. You can also use long cooking rice, which will work just perfectly fine. I just like to go with Arborio because I like Arborio. Okay, so I have an assistant today because I want to do the filming. I'm going to tell her what to put in. Okay, so Jane, just put in the eight ounces of vegan regatta, which is uh, the whole thing. So you have one container, eight ounces. Okay. And a half a container of just egg. Okay, so now you're going to put in two ounces of vegan Parmesan. You can go ahead and put that in. Sprinkle it right on top there. We're going to mix it in anyway, of course. Okay, mind you, the container, the cheese, I had four ounces, so we just put half of that in. Salt and pepper. I just kind of put salt and pepper to taste. So you're not putting a ton of it in, but you're putting, um, you can also season it a little bit later as well. Okay, now we're going to throw a little basil in, powdered onion, and garlic. You see how much you put in. And you can use uh, as much as you want, but don't overdo it. You can always add more later. And I swear to God, you're not going to know the difference between vegan and the regular rice ball. So, really, if you are vegan, make this recipe. If you're not vegan and you want to use... Um, uh, non-vegan products, go ahead. Works both ways. So Jane, you're going to be mixing this up. Mix it very um, thoroughly. We get all those spices and the egg and everything all uh, even and everything real consistent throughout the um, concoction here. Vegan regatta is more like a, a cream cheese, so it's a little chunkier than regular regatta, so it takes a little more mixing. Of course, you don't have to wear gloves, but um, some people don't like touching all this food, and uh, I just feel it's uh, just like my assistant here doesn't like um, using her bare hands. I use my bare hands as long as you wash very well, of course. Okay, the Arancini always made it um, from scratch. Well, it is from scratch, but form the ball and everything by hand uh, took a little bit more work. Um, but that's fine, so, but there's now there's these molds, arancini otto, and, um, which gives you more of an egg uh, looking arancini, not a ball. And then there's one uh, form that's more like a, a ball. So um, got a couple different forms here, really helps out. It makes things go faster and gives you a more consistent shape. So I had a couple made, I'm going to make more for you. Here's a couple made that just came right out of the mold. So this is more of the egg shape, and that's the ball. And now remember, both of these are filled with the ragu type 
filling with the uh, hamburger and peas and sauce, but in this case we used uh, vegan crumbles. Okay, and it's uh, Artichini is really pronounced Arancini because the C is really C-H in Italian. Arancini. So Jane's going to be putting in the rice. Jane, is this the round mold or is this the egg shape? Round? Okay. We're doing another one here. This is egg shaped. Remember, Arancini Noto. These are on Amazon. Okay, some tips I found out while using these molds. This is the first time I'm using these molds. Um, spray it. Spray it a little with a little oil, uh, olive oil spray. And the uh, rice is a lot, comes out a lot easier. Okay, so you're going to want to fill the rice just so it's level. You don't want to overfill or underfill. If you overfill and rice starts squirting out all over the place, and then you know the, the meat came out and it's all crackly and everything. Uh, well, so then again, you're going to put the tablespoon of the uh, ragu uh, mix in there. Keep it level to what you already have in there uh, with the rice. A little indentation, you know, makes that little hole and then you just fill it up. But make sure that you keep it level, it's not too overfill. And then you pack in the rice. And then you're going to make sure that the rice is nice and even on top before you pack it down. There you go. Okay, so for the rice ball again, now we're just going to do the same thing, except it's a different shape. Okay, so you have the opening there for the meat. We do call it ragu, believe it or not. It's our little meat concoction. Super duper easy to make. I'll have the recipe for all of this down in the description. If you like this video so far, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below and make sure to hit the bell and I'll keep you posted every week when we have new videos come out or we do have any live streaming come out. This goes really fast, believe it or not. When I did it by hand, um, yeah, you can have a, like a half a day project just doing that part of it. Look at that. Speed racer there. Now the reason why we uh, don't like sticky rice, don't overdo it, is because then again the ball doesn't uh, form uh, correctly and then you have all mushy rice and it just doesn't taste as good. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to bread the rice balls and so then I can fry them. Now I used um, uh, just egg, which is a plant-based egg, and a little bit of oat milk. And the reason why I did that is because just egg was just a little too thick. So this is the egg wash, and just uh, egg wash just to hold the uh, breadcrumbs onto the rice ball. You can season with salt and pepper and parsley in your uh, breading mix. But you have to be super gentle, otherwise the rice ball will break apart. So. Watch how she does it here. We got that egg-shaped one again. Okay, now again, put in the egg wash. Nice and sticky. Put in the breadcrumbs on. Now, you know what? You can also, if you want to be a little lazy about it, which sometimes I am, believe it or not, you can buy seasoned breadcrumbs. You can just um, do the same with the sauce. Just buy a, a can of, um, or jar of uh, pre-made sauce some, and put some peas in it. Um, season it to a taste however you like it. If you don't like it the way that they have it, hey, there you go. You have half the battles won. Okay, I have to say that uh, these molds uh, really make speed things up. I'm telling you, you're looking at probably an all-day project or actually a half-a-day project, whatever. Depends how fast you can roll balls. Um, God, I kill myself sometimes. Okay, so with the molds, with the egg-shaped one and the ball-shaped one, we had 12 balls, which are pretty big, and, uh, vegetable oil. Just keep it uh, just enough to be able to cover um, the rice ball. Make sure they're not touching. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so fresh out of the fryer. Look at it. Doesn't that look delicious? We got the steaming heat. Got the filling right in here. It's not an overabundance of filling. It's not supposed to be. Mm, I love these. And again, the recipe is in the description. This is just wonderful. But, uh, your thoughts in the comments. 
Did you make these before? Have you ever made them? Have you heard of them? I do want to thank everybody for stopping by today and supporting me with my channel. It was a lot of fun. I do appreciate it. Until next time, have a wonderful holiday season.